Okay, this is part 2 for the HD Raven Gundam review. Uh, on part 2, we are going to go over the armor pack unit and then attach each armor part to the Core Gundam 2 at this point. So before we start attaching the parts, so let's see what we got here. So we're going to attach one by one and see what we got. So uh, the Raven Gundam or the Raven armor pack is meant to be uh, based on or more focused on sniping as a sniper unit. So yeah, we still got a nice base looking here. Uh, we still have the action base right over here, and definitely it looks much more bulkier, but definitely um, looks more uh, agile to fly around with, with this. So uh, the obvious, let's take off some obvious parts. So number one is we get we have these sensors. Uh, two of them are actually on the shoulder parts. This is the one. That, these are the ones that just flies around on their own. Here we can see is actually a peg going on here, and we have one of those stickers, meaning that we have two more over there. So there's three stickers in total. Uh, definitely looking nice. And let's take off the legs. And there we go. Uh, and this, the part that just fell off is actually a part for the rifle, so keep that in mind. Uh, here we have the legs. Obviously we need to fold, unfold the, le the feet like that. And if you're wanting, yes, like the anime, you can actually take these parts. Of course, they're kind of stiff, but you can take them off and reveal another sensor. Granted, there's no wire here, but of course, finding a wire that has one end uh, as a hole and then the other end as a peg might be tricky to find. So, yeah. So, you're going to need multiple action bases to at least make them look like they're floating around. So, we have the legs right over here. Uh, so, let's take off the shoulders. They pop out pretty easily, so no need to worry about that. So the shoulders are pretty interesting, so I believe the shoulders has to go down like this. Uh, the pointing parts has to show down, and then in transformation they have to look, they have to face towards up. And they have this neat, interesting gimmick where they're on like a, a hinge where you can actually make them go forward like this. So I, I kind of found that a little bit interesting. And we have the shoulders, I actually move the legs out. So let's see what we got left. So let's take off the rifle since it's, it's hindering the balance. So here we have the rifle going on here. Uh, here is a part that's uh, connected to the uh, to the side. If you want to use it on the left hand, then you're going to have to move this to the other side. And yes, the rifle does actually extend like that. So keep that in mind. So we're going to put that over there. Uh, so just to make sure I don't break this. It's always the V-fin part that's always really, really hard to get off because it's really on a pretty it's really really connected there there we go we have this part that goes onto the v fin make sure you don't lose it or break it uh and then we get the back skirt right over here once again pretty stuck over there and then we have the sides the, the, not the side the front skirt armor uh which are right over here once again i would suggest like what i did with the earth 3 gundam is that maybe cut off a, a, a tip of the peg just to make sure you can get them in and out easier and then we have the arm parts right, right over here. And then we have the hand guards, which are right over here. Once again, I think, just to save time or for the sake of it, maybe let's just attach them right away so I don't forget or lose them. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's always the hands that were, always bugs me when, when filming. There we go. Let's just attach them right away. And then the only thing that's left are the body parts, which, once again, for some reason, uh, not as hard as... I believe the Earth 3's version came out pretty easily, but this one is not coming out that easily, so... Um, yeah. Come on. There we go. So we got those parts out, and here we have the naked version of the armor pack. So, yeah, pretty diff definitely a different look. So here is the... Um, Earth 3 version, so you can see there's definitely a different structure going on here now. So, yeah, and I would assume you would you would be able to attach the armor parts uh, of the Raven on here, but I'm not sure how it would look like, so, yeah. Or at least some of them. I'm pretty sure some parts are going to collide with each other to the point where you can't attach everything. That's just my guess. Alright, so now since we have every armor out, let's do the basic transformation. So, yeah. I think for the basics, let's go over the body first. Whoops. Yeah, let's actually take uh, let's take off the. Uh, okay, never mind. Since the head does not want to come off, let's just leave it there. Now the problem with my arm is that this like, this part does not like to tend, come out as easily as the other side. There we go. 
So let's attach the body first. So once again, this should be the correct side. Oh, and I think we're gonna need to put down the beam savers. Put it there on each side. Do that. And then we have the main body armor. So obviously, what we need to do is attach the body here to lock them in place. Oh wait, I think I got. Yeah, it's all like if trying to do this in front of camera is never easy because there's a there's a lot of aspects that could just ruin it. So I'm just hoping like last time I don't drop anything uh, because I have this box under me just to make sure. But sometimes those pieces don't really fall into the box. So we got the body ready. So since we are on the body, let's go with the arms. So we're gonna take off the hands and then reattach and attach the armor parts right over here. I wish they wouldn't have made like a click noise, but apparently they don't. And then do the do the same thing on the other side. And there you go. You have the arms ready. Uh, but before I do the arms, uh, let's just get rid of these these easier um, the annoying ones because I believe the more parts you attach, there are some parts that are, that gets much more hard to do. So, uh, and I think it's the front skirt. So let's do the front skirts right now. For the sake of it and there we go and then we're done with the arms almost we technically need the shoulders but let's put those on the last because the shoulders are the ones that just slides in and is like the easiest part so and then let's go with the legs uh, where's the leg okay there we go so there is an actual left and right for the leg so just be aware of that so we just need to connect them uh, if there's one thing I, I have noticed with the Arabian Gundam is that uh, compared to the Earth 3 or the Alice Core or the Alice Earth 3 is that mm, balance is a little bit more trickier on this armor for some reason. I'm, I'm not really sure why, but I had much more trouble making this stand properly. So hopefully it's not a big issue. It could be the location of the feet, but still just found that a little bit odd. So if we, had, we have the legs, definitely got more taller. We put the back skirt on, and there we go. So, uh, we're almost there. So, let's see. Now we put down the beam savers, I believe. And let's put on the shoulders. Make sure the spikes here goes onto the bottom. They just slide in pretty well, so no need to worry to struggle about them. As far as I know. And then, yes. Uh... So now we have the, uh, let's actually go with the weapon first, and yeah, actually before I forget, we put the V fin here, so we're, pre we're pretty much almost done with the combination or core change. So we have the rifle, what I would do is, number one, take this part off, number two, attach the gun here, and then attach it to the back here, and this part is actually going to be a little bit interesting, so I'm, I'll do this last. So uh, this part I'm not a big fan of. So what you need to do is basically uh, let's see what you need to do is do this. Yes, the the beam savers actually have to go down because yeah, you attach you attach the shield on the back. Once again, I told you like on mine, this thing tends to fall off a little bit too easily. So. Uh, sorry if this thing keeps falling off on camera. I really have no control over it. So let's just ignore the shield for now. And then the last sensor is supposed to go here. There's another extra hole there. Now, I don't really remember in the promo pictures, they actually showed the Raven Gundam with the sensors on the back. Uh, because in the anime, like, the moment he used... The, the time when he was using this armor is that these sensors or recon sensors were already outside flying on them on their own. So... Yeah. Okay, and finally the the tricky part is the gun. So you attack, you connect it to the hand, and then you get the white piece. And there's two pegs. The long one goes onto the gun, and then the other short one goes onto the arm. And there we go. And as you can see, this thing is is the most part that kind of falls off on its own pretty easily. So yeah, it does get it does get annoying time to time, but hopefully I can get used to it. And there we go, we have the Uraven Gundam. Now technically you need to have the shield on the back, but once again, as I mentioned before, 
this thing is falling off a little bit too easily on its own. So yeah, I'm trying to, and yeah, and yeah. So yeah, without the backpack, I say it's pretty good, but it just really sucks that I still need to use this backpack because it doesn't really stay in, or at least I wish there was like a second peg that would connect so it would guarantee some sort of locking mechanism, but yeah. So we're done with the combination, so on part 3 we are going to go over the articulation of the Raven Gundam and do some some uh, armor change uh, compatibility test with other core Gundams. So once again, I'll be right back.